Cowboy fans know they know that as the Leon Lett game. Sorry to bring up any bad memories any for cats. Cowboy fans, but that's <laughs> anytime you see football in the snow, it's stop and watch whether you're a fan or not. I mean, absolutely. It's just so impressive. It tests the athletes on a whole new level. Um, we won't be dealing with anything like that here. Well, we have a roof <laughs> over AT&T Stadium now. So. No, but even for like Friday night football <laughs> games, you know, I think there may be some playoff games going on by this point. But Darn. yeah, we, we won't be seeing anything <laughs> like that. It is going to get colder, though. So this is what I need you to know today. It's going to be cool. 50s sunny if you have any outdoor chores that you have to do get it done today trust me because it's going to get cold a front moves in tonight and that's the reason why we'll see more cloud cover the cold air is going to take some time to get here but it happens through the day on friday and then this weekend that's when it gets downright cold we'll see some flurries and some rain late in the day Friday with 30s for the morning Saturday and Sunday 40s and 50s for the highs during the afternoon right now not looking too bad 51 degrees and a difference in our sky from yesterday we're looking at a blue sky overhead cloud cover has pretty much cleared across the entire area with a south wind 510 miles per hour that's what's helping temperatures climb a bit more today than yesterday about 50 degrees right now in Fort Worth Denton 47 in McKinney. These temperatures will all climb into the mid to even upper 50s for some about 56 around 1 58 degrees around 3 56 degrees around 5 winds stay out of the south southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We'll notice our highs get very close to about 60 degrees across a big portion of the area. Our eastern county is still holding on to the low 50s. So here's what's going on this week. We're going to have that front come through. The front helps keep our temperatures in the 40s just about all day on Friday. We are going to eventually cool down to about 34 degrees Saturday morning, 48 for the high on Saturday, 52 on Sunday, and then it warms up a bit more next week with added rain chances. But when that front comes through, I told you those temperatures are going to just drop, especially come Friday night. That's going to coincide with some moisture. This is the area that could see some flurries, a light coating on grassy surfaces and elevated surfaces will be possible. Most of us will not see this. Roads will not be impacted by this. This is what it looks like on timecast. We're looking at that front coming through very early Friday. Most of the day Friday looks like this breezy. 40s and cloudy, but look at what happens late Friday. I'm going to fast forward here to about 10. We start to see some of this moisture coming in, especially across the Red River. That's where we will likely see some flurries at first. Only 20% coverage with precip Friday night. I want to emphasize that. That means most of the area will not see this. We'll see flurries kind of expanding coverage just a tad more closer to midnight. Rain, maybe a few light sprinkles across the Metroplex. Then we see slightly better coverage as we approach sunrise on Saturday. Again, no travel impacts are expected. Better rain chance comes next week with a couple of systems Monday and then again on Wednesday. We're looking at the cloud cover clearing now, but that next system is on the way still off of the Pacific Northwest. So that Thanksgiving forecast looking at a high near 63. So a little bit warmer temperatures are going to be uh, climbing into the 60s as early as next Wednesday, and that's when added rain chances come in. Uh, definitely want to make sure to keep an eye on that forecast next week. If you are traveling, just in case you hit any wet roads, we'll be back.